Welcome to Boomi EDI Fundamentals Training. This class is for a person who is brand new to EDI. If you're already an experienced EDI developer and are looking to learn about how EDI works with Boomi, please answer the test out questions to begin your training with our Boomi EDI Basic Training class. We begin this class with an introduction to EDI. Our discussion focuses on what EDI is, why it is used, and its benefits. We move on to discuss some of the hurdles of EDI adoption as well as its value proposition. We wrap up this section discussing the EDI business processes and learning EDI terminology. Our next section, Getting Started EDI Basics, defines Boomi's definition of EDI and defines the EDI standards and training partners. Next, we move into a detailed conversation on vans, including the definition of a van, learning about their services, and why we use them, and if Boomi is a van. Our final section addresses what you need to have before you create an EDI process in Boomi. We'll take a quick look at specs and sample data. Let's begin by defining EDI. As defined, by EDIBasics.com, EDI is a computer-to-computer -computer exchange of business documents in a standard electronic format, such as X12 or Edifact, between business partners, which commonly are referred to as trading partners. Let's break down each phrase of the definition. EDI replaces snail mail, fax, and email. While EDI is electronic, the exchange documents are handled by people, which slows the document processing and introduces errors. EDI documents flow straight through to the receiver's computer and begin processing immediately. EDI documents are exchanged between businesses. The most common are purchase orders, invoices, and shipment notices. Because EDI documents are processed by computers, you must use a standard format to describe each piece of information so the computer can read the documents. Today, there are many EDI standards, X12, Edifax, and Tradecoms, and versions such as X12 850 or Edifax version D12 release A. When businesses exchange, EDI documents, they must agree on the specific standard and version. The exchange of EDI documents between two different companies is referred to as trading partners. For example, Company A may buy goods from Company B. Company A sends orders to Company B. Company A and Company B are trading partners. Let's take a look at the business types EDI supports. In government, EDI exists in federal procurement. Transportation uses EDI to track motor carrier load tenders and request shipments. In healthcare, EDI is used to file medical claims for insurance companies and to adhere to HIPAA standards. It exists in banking for accepting payment information. Finally, EDI is heavily used in manufacturing and retail for handling invoices, purchase orders, and shipment notices. How does EDI deliver value to its customers? It improves supply chain and operational efficiency by focusing on logistic programs and eliminates duplicate steps in the supply chain. It decreases inventory costs by reducing paperwork and errors in rekeying of documents. Document processing speed and accuracy improve due to electronic processing. It greatly reduces, if not eliminates, time delays connected with manual processing, which requires a person to enter, file, and compare data. It allows you to keep full visibility of your data. All of this provides you with a comprehensive advantage and allows you to make better decisions and increase customer satisfaction.
The two most important benefits for a business to implement EDI are speed or time. EDI decreases the time it takes for an employee to create invoices and manually handle purchase orders. Timing is important when it comes to the processing of an order. With EDI, businesses can speed up their cycles by 61%, creating an allowance for a more automated process, which reduces, if not eliminates, time delays related to manual processes for you to compare, enter, and file data. Prior to EDI, transactions took up to five days by paper, can now be completed under an hour. An example of this is an American Automotive Corporation, which reduced a key cycle time by 97%. This resulted in a 30-day process reduced to 24 hours. Accuracy. Using a manual approach, you are likely to get errors, usually from entry or re-entry of errors impossible to understand handwriting, and improper documentation. EDI improves your business data quality and removes the problem of reworking orders by at least 30 to 40 percent drop in transaction errors. Both of these result in lower costs and improved efficiency of your business processes. An added bonus is that you become a preferred partner, which could lead to additional business. There are three hurdles new companies must overcome to EDI adoption. They are perception, scope, and cost. With perception, often EDI is viewed as a file format, when in fact it is much more. In addition to being a technology, it is also a business enabler. Many companies do not recognize the need or support the change of manual business processes. The scope of the process change is needed for EDI. Going from a manual to an automated process is a large scope project with effort involved in legacy process reengineering. This impacts both skill sets and bandwidth. Finally, time, money, and resources. There are demands, but the payoff at the end can be big. This concludes our introduction. Let's move on to our next section. Getting started with EDI Basics.